this show kind of feels like mm -hmm. I felt in space. Like, wow, you mm -hmm. say, when you watch the visual imagery. This is the first time as a viewer where I really felt like I got it from your perspective. Was that something that uh, was surprising at the end that, you know, you've talked about science and your experiences in a lot of different places, but that this maybe framed it in a way uh, that was special for you guys too? Well, that was the hope in, in inviting astronauts to participate. I mean, the real star of the show is planet Earth, one mm -hmm. strange rock. Right. And, and we've been privileged to see the Earth from a different perspective. We call it sometimes a planetary perspective. And I think what we all hoped when we got involved in this is that National Geographic would, in their typical way, do such a great job that the viewers, in the end, would come to share the perspective that, that we've been privileged enough to have. The thing I love really is that there are these personal stories that tie into whatever the theme of the episode is. Was there something for either of you where you watched it and went, oh wow, I'm surprised how they wove that together and really landed explaining something to the audience? I think, you know, one of the things that when we think about the International Space Station and astronauts flying in space, you think of all the technological mm -hmm. aspects of it. But what I found that they wove together really well was how we work together as a great team, an international team from one race, the human race. And as Jeff mentioned, this perspective shift that we get, we kind of all get it as we're working together as one family, as one team. And, and that's what's so beautiful about this. I, I think in the series, I was blown away, basically. And going to space is awesome. You know, looking down at the one strange rock is awesome. And when I look at the series and the cinematography and the, you know, going from different cultures around the earth and looking at the universe and, it made me say, man, that's how I felt. It wasn't mm -hmm. the stuff and it wasn't the scenes. It was that feeling of what an awesome place we live in yeah. and what a privileged time that we're sitting in the earth right now and that we're alive right. and, you know, right. thank, thank God that everything came together. And I had that feeling in space where, you know, mm -hmm. this is a privilege. I am in space. This is incredible. And this show kind of feels like mm -hmm. I felt in space, like wow, you mm -hmm. say, when you watch the visual imagery. From space, we also could see the impact that human civilization yeah. and technology is having on our planet. And, and that's something that I think comes across. It's, it's not, the, the, the series is not didactic trying to push an ecological message yeah. down people's throats, but after first appreciating the uniqueness of our one strange rock and all the incredible things that had to happen to make the planet able to support life and then how human life ultimately evolved out of the whole story of life on earth yeah. and then to realize the the dominant impact now that humans are having on our planet i hope that's a message that will come across to the viewers because that's something that I think we all feel looking back on the earth. You guys have the most incredible perspective on that. We look at our towns, we look at our, you know, oh, that looks fine, everything's fine, but you get to see it from a perspective where we just don't have that visual reference. Did it change how you, your mission is with telling people what your experience was? I think for me, it was more of the picture that we took on my first mission was like a Benetton commercial. African-American, Asian-American, French, German, Russian, first female commander. And I come home and I want to bring people together to say, look, guys. It works. If we, yeah, it works in space. Yeah. But yeah. if we don't get our act together, you know, and all the isms and schisms and things that are going on, we're going to falter as a civilization. I think that's one of the most important messages that we can, we can work you know, in harmony mm -hmm. as a family in space. But can we just do it down here on the planet?